But to hear some researchers here on the ground tell it tonight, the latest read on global warming is cause for concern now and for the future. So, is Mother Earth really running a temperature? CBS's John Roberts has the latest on this heated dispute. At the University of Massachusetts, researcher Michael Mann has been studying history, specifically climate history, all the way back to the Middle Ages. And what he's announced today has added fuel to the fire in the debate over how what we burn may be affecting the environment. We know that three years in this current decade, um, 1990, 1995, and 1997, were warmer than any other single year back to at least A.D. 1400. Using natural thermometers, such as measurements of tree rings and ice cores, Mann says he has been able to calculate ancient temperatures to a fraction of a degree and found that the average yearly temperature is now two degrees Fahrenheit warmer than before the Industrial Revolution. We believe we are seeing the effect of human beings on the climate of the 20th century. Scientists disagree on whether warming temperatures are part of a man-made problem or just a cycle of nature. Even Mann admits he isn't 100% certain. This isn't definitive proof, but it's a very, very strong suggestion. While a two degree average rise in temperature might not seem like much, it's having a profound effect. Last week it was announced a piece of the Antarctic ice shelf the size of Washington, D.C. broke off. In Alaska, where temperatures have risen five degrees in just the past two decades, the Great Bering Glacier is slowly receding. It will take years of research to determine exactly what's behind this trend and what, if any, dangers it might pose. But one thing is certain, the heat is on. Global temperatures for the first three months of 1998 were the warmest on record. John Roberts, CBS News, New York. Feeling in